Okay, welcome to the next video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with lesson two. Uh, this time we're going to make a star platform. Okay, so in the last lesson we made a stair. Now we're going to make a star. So um, go ahead and uh, just you can continue with the template, the project that you were working on last time, or you can open a new one and just delete the base plate. Go ahead and insert a cylinder. We're going to do that. Okay. Now we're going to change the size. Let me um, move it a little closer here. Okay. And anchor it. Don't forget to anchor this thing. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, change the size on this. So go to the properties window and find the size property. And instead of 411, let me see, let's try, let's try 8. Two, two. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good. We'll do eight, two, two. And, and notice that the eight is um, along the x direction. Here it's red. Uh, depending on how you have your uh, camera set up, it might be a different dimension. But just remember, it's the long one. So whatever color that is here on the arrows, for me it's red, which is x over here. Okay, so we've uh, gone ahead and made a copy, or we've gone ahead and changed the size on our cylinder. Now we're going to make a copy. One thing that's different from last time is that in the last in the last video we had collisions we had collisions on because we wanted the copy to be placed on top, right? This time we want it to be exactly in the same place and, and I'll show you what the difference is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn off collisions. So the check mark is gone here on collisions. And now let me move my camera. Okay, this is good. So um, remember that when you're making copies, especially when you're using the duplicate button here, if collisions is on, it's going to make a copy on top. See how it made a copy on top of the original? I'm going to hit Control Z or use the undo button. But if you have collisions off and you select your piece to make a duplicate, it um, you can see here there are two parts. But here it looks like there's only one part. What's actually happened is that Roblox has created the duplicate exactly in the same position as the original. And you can see that if you, let me zoom in. And you can see that if you move it, watch what happens. Oh, oh, uh, you know, yeah. If you see it, it's in exactly the same position, but we can move it out of place. So I'm gonna move it back. And that's actually what we want. Because with the star, if you remember, we want it to, um, they're, they're going to overlap this time. Okay, so we want collisions off. So now that we've made up a, a copy of it, what we want to do is we want to rotate it. And before we do that, we want to make sure that some settings are, are the way we want them. So what we're going to do is go over to the model menu. Okay, so go ahead and click on the model menu. And then what we want to look at is the settings for snap to grid and they're right here okay so here are the settings for snap to grid and let me show you what these do these are actually really useful when you're building your models okay so you might have noticed just now that when I moved the uh, copy it didn't move smoothly it moved in steps basically that's what's happening it's using the snap to grid and you can see that because the check mark is on next to move if I turn it off now when I move something, it'll move smoothly. Yeah, do you see the difference? So let me um, let me show you. So that was with move snap to grid off. And here it is with move snap to grid on. It moves in steps, it snaps, okay? And uh, also with rotate, if we turn on rotate here, you'll see it does the same thing. So right now we're rotating by 45 degrees every time, so if I drag this green circle, watch what happens. It's going to snap, rotate by 90, 45 degrees. 
If you turn the rotate snap to grid off by clicking off the check, the check mark, now we can rotate this any way we want, any position. And so it's smooth rotate. Okay, it's not a snap to grid rotate. Okay, what we want for rotate though is we do want the we do want the um, snap to grid on, and 45 degrees is a good is a good value. That's usually what it what it's set to when you first start Roblox Studio. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the copy, and we're going to rotate it once by 45 degrees, and then we're going to change the color. So we're going to change the color to something else. Make this one purple. Okay. And we're going to do this four times. Okay. So I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to go back to the home menu. I'm going to duplicate. Now there are three cylinders here and I'm going to rotate to a new position and I'm going to change the color. Okay. And then one more time, duplicate. Now there are four, go ahead and rotate it and change the color. And we're done. Let me zoom out so you can see this. We've created our um, star, our star platform using rotated cylinders. Okay, And so we're going to do the same thing we did before, where we select all four of these pieces. Again, you can just click and drag a window to select all of them. Um, once you do that, you should see all four of these selected. Again, another way to do it is to control click, control left click to select more than one piece. Either way, select all four of these and then go up here and press group. Okay, when you do that, it uh, combines all four of these cylinders into one model. We can rename it. I'm going to call this star. And now we have um, now we have a model that we can save to our toolbox. So let's do that again. So we go over to star, right click, save to Roblox, and uh, you know give it a name. I'm going to call this one star, and I'm going to submit. And it worked successfully submitted, and we can close this. And again, if we open the toolbox and look in our inventory here, not the marketplace, but inventory, and you look in your models, here it is. Here is my star that I just saved over there. And again, I can drag this into any game and, or, and I can um, reuse it without having to build it again. Okay, so I've placed three of these in my game. I'm going to move them so that they are um, a little closer. So let me uh, move my camera and then we'll test them to make sure that they work. Okay. So this looks good. Uh, the only thing is that happens sometimes is you'll notice. Yeah. You'll notice that these uh, move arrows, now they're not the same as they used to be. Um, now they're moving. Well, this one is actually, <laughs> this one's moving the way I want it to. Um, that's good actually. And this one's moving the other way. Okay. But it's okay. I mean, it still works. And you can always rotate these if that is uh, is something you don't want. You could just uh, hit, click rotate here and then rotate it over one. And now when you do move, now it will move the way that you want it to. Okay. So let me make sure that these are in a good position. Uh, this one's too close. And this one, I'm going to move just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and test this and see how it plays. So I'll hit play and make sure that these work. Yeah, a little crooked, but that will work. Okay, and you can see we made something that looks really nice um, in just you know a matter of minutes. And um, you can definitely make all kinds of objects. You can make trees, houses, anything simple, anything that uses simple geometric shapes, you can make yourself. Okay. And so now we've made two models ourselves. We've made a stair. We've made a star. We saved them both to the toolbox so that we can reuse them. 
And we learned the difference between um, collisions on and collisions off when we're making duplicates. And then we also looked at the snap to grid section of the model menu in order to uh, turn it on and off and to adjust some of the settings. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and make a snowman using what we've learned. Um, so I'll see you then.